Assalamualaikum and welcome to the Saudi Aramco Safety Handbook Training Part 3. And uh, today's topic will be the responsibility of the safety managers, supervisors, employees and the contractors. Now coming to the context, uh, there is written that the person as referred in this handbook includes the employees of the Saudi Aramco and the contractors. And uh, they have also specified the workers of the Saudi Aramco, they have written that they, must, uh, they can be either the senior administration managers, the division head supervisor, foreman employees and the contractors and uh, they have written that they have uh, the following safety responsibilities. Coming to the part one which is mainly focused on the responsibilities of the managers and supervisor. The point one is they, their responsibility is to establish and communicate safety rules and standards to all employees and contractors. The managers must make safety policy and they must implement it in the workplace. The point two is to provide appropriate resource which are standardized PPEs, tools and equipments and trainings for the employee. The point three is to award contractors using safety, health and environment criteria. Uh, for example, uh, they can make a kind of KPI scoring for the contractors and they must appreciate and award them at the end of month in the kind of uh, top losses meetings. The point number four is to conduct and document safety meetings and this is for the purpose of keeping records. The next point is to correct unsafe acts and conditions. Uh, this can be done by making a risk assessment if you find any type of uncertainty uh, it is uh, there must be conducted risk assessment and the new control measures shall be applied to the risk. The next point is to conduct routine safety and environmental inspection and tours. The managers and the supervisor must regularly visiting the areas, the operational areas, the work sites. The next point is to maintain facility emergency plan and conduct regular emergency drill. The managers and supervisors must train employees and contractors that how they have to act during the emergency. The next point is to investigate emergencies, uh, the injuries, the spills and other incidents and provide corrective actions. Uh, the accident and the incidents can be investigated following the 5W and 2H methodology and then they should make risk assessment on it, they may, uh, may conduct hazard on it and then apply the controls to the risk. The very last point is uh, they must review organization and employ safety performance periodically and provide feedback. This point can be elaborated as the managers should kept a track record of the employees performance in the safety and they must be appreciating them in their on their good performance. The next point, uh, the part is on the employees responsibility. The point one is uh, the employees must comply with the applicable rules, standard and safe work practice. Employees shall never bypass the safety standards and rules. Uh, the point two is to communicate safety rules standards to contractors and co-workers. There shall not be kept any kind of trade secret in the workplace as it leads to the major incidents and accidents. The point three is to maintain knowledge of safety requirements including emergency response actions. The employee must know if he is conducting any kind of activities, he, uh, he is executing any kind of task, he must know that what kind of protocols are to be followed and what kind of PPEs are to be used. Furthermore, he shall have, he must have a kind of emergency action plan and he must have conducted drills on it so shall he know that how to act during the emergency. The next point is to participate in the safety meetings. If the, your managers are conducting uh, safety meetings or mass activities, you must uh, go and uh, participate in them. The next point is to operate, inspect and maintain facility in a safe condition. You shall never be indulged into any kind of toxic act that uh, can lead to the further any incident or accident. The next point is to report injuries, spills, unsafe condition, near misses and incidents immediately. As there is no friend zone in the workplace and it is well said that near miss reported today is an accident 
avoided in future you shall you must report any kind of near miss that you see happening anywhere in your workplace the next point is to assist in incident investigation as necessary you must be answering rightfully to your investigator and providing the information that you have relevant to any kind of accident that happened the part three of the safety responsibilities are on the responsibilities of the contractors the vendors or the third parties which are working inside the premises of the saudi aramco so the very first responsibility of the vendor groups are to ensure that contractor employees and their subcontractors are trained in saudi aramco safety rules and are competent in their craft and skills the contractors must hire the staff that are competent in their specified field furthermore they should uh, they should be experienced and must be familiar with the uh, rules and standards of the saudi aramco point 2 is to comply with the all saudi aramco's rules policies and procedures the contractors and their workers must adhere to the safety policy and the safety trainings of the saudi aramco handbooks the next point is to report injuries spills and safe acts condition near misses and incidents immediately uh, they shouldn't be kept any kind of secrets because the mistakes can be rectified but accidents not the next point is to operate saudi aramco equipments only with proper saudi aramco authorizations and certifications the last point is to hold the pre job meetings and other safety meeting meetings during the job uh, there must be conducted a kind of toolbox talks prior to the activity there must be conducted a kind of risk assessment or a quick risk prediction type of format a documented uh, documented format prior to any activity to avoid any kind of incident accidents and the uncertainty so now we are ending with our part 3 of the safety responsibilities of saudi aramco safety handbook and we must be coming soon with our next video with the next part and these all this data is taken in context to the reference of page 1 and 2 of the saudi aramco safety handbook allah hafiz